So two by two digit multiplication with sticks. So this is a method that I see popping up every now and then uh, and people are like, oh, it's a great trick. Uh, I don't think it is a great trick, but I'm gonna explain how it works um, and then show you sort of why I don't think it's a great trick. So often you'll see the two numbers given are like 13 and 12 and then they're drawn out of sticks like so. And then the way that you add up the sticks to get your answer is that you take the bottom crossings, then the middle crossings, and then the top crossings, and then that's, that becomes your answer. So there's six crossing points at the bottom, so that's our six, which goes in our units. Then in the next like row up, you have one, two, three, four, five crossing points, and then in the top you have one crossing point, and that goes in the hundreds. So you work out your hundreds, your tens, and your units separately. Now, it's somewhat obvious to see how this works. If you write the 13 and the 12 out in, in algebra, so if we use AB to represent 13, um, actually what I'm gonna write is 10A plus B. So A becomes the one, B becomes the three of the 13. And then I'm gonna put that in brackets and then I'm gonna do the same with the 12. So that would become 10, let's call it C plus D. So C being the tens of the 12 and then D being the two of the 12. So if you multiply this out, it becomes easier to see what's going on. So you get 100 AC plus 10 a d plus 10 b c plus b d so it's a pretty simple expansion but you can quite easily see here that what's going on is that the b d here which would be the two by three which is represented down here becomes our six look at the the tens units this 10 a d is this one over here and this 10 BC is this one over here. So you add those together and it becomes your tens unit. Likewise for your 100 AC, which is this one up here, you get A times by C, which is your 100 unit. So it's quite easy to see how this method works uh, and to see it algebraically. The reason I don't like this method is if you go into larger numbers, this becomes a little bit more complicated. To illustrate why I don't like this method, let's take two slightly larger numbers. So I'm gonna take 51 times by 24. Now I know the answer is 1224, 1224. But let's draw this out of sticks. So I've got five sticks, and then one stick, and then two sticks, and four sticks. So if we add up our crossing points, as we did before, down here we have four crossing points, here we have two crossing points, here we have 20 crossing points, and up here at the top we have 10 crossing points. But this becomes a little bit more complicated to add together because if we if we add them as we did before, where we just took the numbers and, and concatenated them together, we would have a four, then a 22, and then a 10. But this is wrong. So the reason this becomes tricky is that actually, because we're generating numbers that are bigger than single units, we have to be careful about the tens and the hundreds that they represent. So this at the bottom here, this four is actually four units then the 20 and the 2 are tens, so 22 tens. And then this 10 at the top is actually 10 one hundreds. So now if we add this together, 10 one hundreds is 1,000, then 22 tens is 220, and then four units. So you have to be careful when you add these together to get to the right answer. And that's kind of why I don't like this stick method. But if you think about it algebraically, it's quite obvious to see how it works.